Pay yourself first, always. Always pay yourself first. Always ensure that you get paid first. New money shows up in your life. Who do you pay first? You pay you. Okay, you take your percentage. In other words, for every dollar that comes in your life, how much are you comfortable paying yourself? 20%, 30%? For me, it's a, it's a pretty high percentage. I will take a, a large percentage and I will pay me first. Now, let me tell you why this is so, so important. Okay, Most people who struggle with money, they want to pay everyone else and then whatever they have left over is theirs to keep. How much is usually left over? Nothing. Okay, they take care of everyone else first, they pay everyone else first, and then whatever is left over, which is not much, they keep themselves. Here's, here's why adopting this will change everything. Okay, let's pretend that right now, in this point in time, one week from now, you have a big bill. Okay, you owe someone $1,000. Maybe it's a mortgage payment, maybe it's a, um, money on your credit card, I'm not sure, but let's say that you owe $1,000 in one week. You make $1,000 today. So what do you do with that $1,000? What do most people do? They would think, well, I, I better keep this $1,000 and use it to pay the bill. Here's what you want to do if you want to become wealthy. You t this is what I did. This is really what changed everything for me. I would make that $1,000. You know what I would do? I would immediately log into my online banking and I would put it in a high savings account that I couldn't withdraw money out of. Okay, without severe penalties. I'd lose all my interest and things like that. So I would take that new money that showed up in my life, and I, in my case, I would put it pretty much all. You, you might not want to do that. Depends what you're comfortable with. But I would put it all into this other bank account where I couldn't get access to it. Now, again, I knew that I had this bill coming up a week from now for $1,000. But I paid myself first. I always made sure that I was taken care of first. Now, you know what that does? What do you think that does? It now creates a void. Okay, it now creates a void. Suddenly, you know, all right, I have no money in my bank account, but I have this bill coming up for $1,000. What do you start to do? You start to think, okay, I need to manifest another $1,000. So you start thinking, how can I do that? It gets you in the mindset of, how do I bring this new money into my life? Can I go and work a few extra hours? Can I go and earn a, a few extra commissions? But now you start to manifest more money to cover that bill. And you will always find a way. Okay, you will always find a way to get it done. Have you noticed that? You always find a way, right? So you find a way to manifest that other thousand dollars you pay the bill and you're left with a thousand dollars in your bank account. Now again, most people don't do that. Most people, they get the thousand dollars, they use it to pay the bill, but now there's no void. Okay, there's no motivation to go and find another thousand dollars. Do you all get that? Okay, it's a really important lesson. Pay yourself first, always. You set up a bank account or you set up some investing account, every single dollar that ever flows into your life, you take automatically, you will take a percentage and you will put it into your wealth account, automatically, without question. Even if you have a huge bill coming up one week, week from now and you don't know how you're going to pay it, you will still pay yourself first. And believe me, you'll always find a way to take care of that bill later on. But this ensures that you get paid. This will change everything, okay? So pay yourself first. Now, starting out on this journey to investing wealth, a lot of people might say, well, I don't have money, okay? I don't have money. Uh, how do I start investing? Where do I find the money from? Again, it's not due to a lack of money flowing into your life. We all have enough money flowing into our lives right now, all of us, to start investing, okay? It's a matter of making a choice to allocate a percentage towards investing. Now, it also comes down to resourcefulness. If we're going to start to save money, if we're going to start to invest money, we have to adopt this mentality of, I'm going to feed that bank account, okay? Or I'm going to feed that investing account. Every week, I'm going to contribute something to it. And it's got to become a mentality. So in 2000, and this was about 2008, I got really serious about this, okay? I had a bank account, and again, every time I would get some cash, I would put it in the bank account, but it just became like a game for me. I would log in, I would check the balance every single day, and it was like a game. How do I add more money to this account? So I would start to think of things like, 
okay, what, what do I have right now that I don't need that I could sell? I would then go and sell it and I would put money in that bank account. This was my mentality, feed the bank account. Okay, so wherever you are right now, even if you think you don't have enough money to start investing, you can, okay? You just have to be a little bit more creative.